Akuma years ago had plans on, re on replacing these trolling rods with their new PCH series. But I guess anglers like me love the look and fit feel of these fantastic rods. And so they're still being offered today. These trolling rods, I've seen them in Hawaii as well as in Florida. And I heard they're very popular in Texas as well. Now, currently there are six models, which would have probably the same six models from 12 years ago, ranging from five foot eight to six feet in heavy to extra heavy. Now these two here, the ones that I had from six years ago, these are the six, six footers and extra, extra heavy. Uh, I can substitute these as my inside rods to my outside rods and it won't make a difference. It's the right height, build, and weight classification. At six feet, they're quite versatile. You can put them out as your main rigs. And since being six feet tall, you do get some distance. Um, also, when you got a large hit, like say a big tuna or a big marlin, um, the longer you go, like a eight footer, the, the fights in the fish's ball, ballpark, trust me, and the weight will get you after a while. I love the six foot, the six footers, I can horse in a wahoo on the inside line, and I can still fight a decent marlin or a big tuna on the outside. Now, as you notice here, I have power handles installed by Gomexes, and this will um, actually help in the cranking power. Uh, now, you can go with any reels you want. These would take 30, 50, 80 class reels. Um, back in the day, reels like this, I used to use uh, 9-0s, 10-0s, and 12-0s. What's nice about these reels here, that I have 50 pound test mono on them. Um, and I think each one has like 420, 430 yards and they have counters built into them. So I know um, exactly how, how far my lures are back. So this is a nice setup. Um, you don't have to use what I use, but these work. These cold water reels are popular in the Pacific Northwest or the Great Lakes, anywhere where there's cold water. Now check out these Elp roller guys. They have, they're large and look at the opening. Great, huge openings. So when you have a knot, it will easily go through it without getting hung up. These carbon composite blanks are finished with heat shrink tubes. Look at that. Heat shrink tubing. So this, so when your hands are wet, this provides great gripping right here. It's great that you can grip these rods when your hands are wet, but um, just for eye candy, I really love these abalone inlays. Take a look at that. Aren't they cool looking? So let's face facts, and I'm kind of a bottom line person. I got these rods because they're thick and powerful. They're good stand-up length. Six feet is a good stand-up length. I found anything that was like five, six or under, um, wasn't a good trolling rod, but it was excellent for stand-up. But it didn't give a lot, and it, it forced you to um, be the aching muscles that brought in the fish. Now, six feet, I can stand up, and I I can bring the fish in, and I and if the fish has some extra spur of power, it's not going to weaken me in any way. So I like six feet. So all these rods are really strong, and they're in quite thick just thick enough for hand lining if you have to go hand lining and they all look cherry i mean um aesthetically speaking they are very very cherry and why do you think i got a pair because they're matching they're inexpensive the msrp for both these rods equals up to one average rod i mean that's one thing about akuma their rods and reels are a lot more inexpensive than a lot of competitors out there and there's a reason why they're highly rated, and this was one of them. Good quality, fair MSRP. All right? Thank you, guys.